Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the latest feature which has been added to the developer version of the A32 NX. It's a functionality which allows you to control the MCDU uh, from a remote machine or from a web browser on the same machine. And that is really cool because that allows to control you to control the MCDU from outside the simulator instead of inside the simulator, which allows you to do some, I'd say, cool, cool things with it. So what's required for it? Well, the first thing is you need to make sure that you've got the latest version of the uh, A32 NX add-on. So let me show that to you how to get it. So here's the installer and the installer has the option to switch from stable to development. So if you're currently running the stable version, then make sure that you switch to the development version. Uh, if you didn't do that and you switch to the development version, you need to make sure that you close uh, Flight Simulator and then hit the update button because the installer prevents you from installing any update as long as Flight Simulator 2020 is running, right? So it's a cool uh, fail safe. So once that's done, uh, you will have, I would say, a cool thing in your community folder because that's where the uh, say add-ons been installed right so let me show you for those who are unaware this is the wrong folder if you go to app data local packages then the flight simulator folder you've got the local cache inside the local cache you've got packages community and if you scroll down you will see the fly by wire aircraft a32 neo for those who I would say looked at those directories, you probably saw this already, but there's now a new thing here, which is called the MCDU server. And the MCDU server is a server which creates, a, I would say, a web server, which allows you to control the MCDU from a remote machine or from the same machine. So what you need to do is you need to double click it. Once you double clicked it, it will show you this window. It could be that once, uh, if you clicked it the first time that it will ask you to create a firewall rule. Make sure that you leave the public uh, network uh, unchecked and only enable it on your local network. So it will ask me, okay, hey, do you want to enable the printer service? Uh, what it does, it, it allows you to uh, send the, for example, weather reports, which are normally sent to the printer inside the aircraft. It will allow you to, to send them to a, I would say real physical printer. In my case, I'm going to say no. Then I'm going to hit enter and then say starting simulator. Then after a short while, it says simulator connected and then it will show you the address which you can use. So in this case, this is my local IP address and this is the port number which I can use to access it if I'm accessing it from a remote machine. But you can also access it by using localhost and then semicolon 8125 if you want to open it from a browser on the same machine where you've got flight simulator running. Uh, I don't see the added value there, but uh, I'm going to focus on the remote one because I think that's the most uh, valuable option there is uh, as we speak. So I'm going to switch to my iPad in this case, and then I'm going to go to that address, right? So I've got to go to 192, and you can see I already tried it, of course. 168, 1, 1 says uh, 1 1.75, uh, semicolon 8125, and if I press OK, it will give me this screen. It could be that it shows you, hey, do you want to allow control to remote devices? In that case, if it asks, say yes, because that's required to control the MCDU. And from there on, you can uh, use the buttons, right? You can go to different menus, like I'm currently doing. And if, I'm not, we, if we would now switch back to Flight Simulator, we will see that it switched to that menu. <laughs> Remotely, I'm gonna go to the AOC, and it switches to the AOC menu in the A32 Annex. So by using this great feature, you can now remotely control the MCDU by using a different device or by using, I would say, a different monitor where you open the web browser on. Really easy feature, a really cool feature. Keep in mind, it's currently only uh, available in a developer edition of uh, the A32 Annex add-on, so you might need to install it if you don't have it. Uh, but I think it's, I would say, it's really cool. It's a really nice end of the year present uh, from uh, the people from A32NX or Fly-By-Wire. Here ends this how-to. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. 
And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.